A zoomed in view of the damaged area shows that the knife ruptures a blood vessel. This causes immense loss of blood. Inside the artery, we observe the RBCs and platelets, which escape out through the damaged area. The platelets play a very important role in the initiation of Here, this thread-like fibrin forms a mesh. The RBCs get caught and remain entangled. These RBCs and fibrin threads together form the blood clot. This clot manages to plug the gap in the ruptured artery and that this clot manages to plug the gap in the ruptured artery and thus prevents further blood loss. The deep veins run between muscles of the leg. Contractions of these muscles when we move our leg and ankle help to squeeze the blood back up towards the heart. The veins also have valves that prevent the blood from flowing back. Towards the feet. DVT is where a blood clot or thrombus forms in a deep vein. It partly or completely blocks the flow of blood through the vein. A blood clot can form if a vein is damaged. If the flow of blood in the vein slows down, and if the blood has a higher than normal tendency to clot. Here we show the blood clot forming in the vein. Many blood clots are small, and your body will usually be able to gradually break them down. Here we show a small blood clot being broken down, and the blood flow through the vein returned to normal. Sometimes a larger blood clot can form. A larger clot can completely block the flow of blood through the vein. Here we show the blood clot growing larger. A large blood clot may cause pain and swelling in the affected leg. 